try to make this video short and sweet. We're gonna go to Google, type HTML5 CSS3 template. The first link that shows up, it's not an ad, is HTML5up.net. Click on that. Scroll down to Helios. We've already done massively. There it is, click on it. There's going to be a file that you extract to a folder, uh, put it anywhere, and find the index.html file. Once you've found that, right click on it, open with whatever text editor you use. This happens to be WebStorm, which you can use for 30 minutes for free, uh, evaluating it. You could use Notepad++. Anyway, go ahead and edit the title tag. This will be the little clip of text that shows up when you search for your name on, uh, in, in this case, your name on Google, which you just saw HTML5 up that text that showed up when I searched for HTML5 CSS3 template, that's the text that shows up in the title tag. Then go down to the header, and this is what humans are going to look at when they go to your website. I'm, I wanted to say Nate Legakis Website Services, and then below in a big paragraph in the header, actually not so big, it, it's not in a header H1 tag like the line uh, Nate Legakis website services. It's just in a paragraph. It's going to be pretty small Unless that paragraph has some style which it doesn't for this template Where they can change the font size anyway go ahead Edit that then scroll down to your navigation You see how it says nav ID nav That is a tag that you use for your navigation maybe for the first link when you click on the hamburger menu at the top of the website, whether you're on mobile or a desktop, you want it to say services. And maybe instead of using an anchor text where it goes to a link down on your web, same index.html file, you want it to go to a new page where you have all your services. A nice big page where you can devote that entire page to your services and then maybe you want to have a bunch of social links like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, uh, who knows, Yelp, you want maybe Yelp would be under a views section instead of social, I don't know. You can organize your website however you want but anyway we're just changing the default Helios Latin blah 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 text to something that's makes sense for your website you know this is this is what editing a, a website template is all about you're going to get some placeholder text if you know where it is you can look at your website once you post it online and just do a find or a, a search and replace for this text if that's easier for you but i'm showing you how to manually find it it's pretty simple it's right here in your index study Alpha, excuse me, index.html file, uh, which you can edit with a text editor. No expensive uh, website manager, GoDaddy, cookie cutter. You don't have to log into GoDaddy. This is all on your local machine. You have complete control. You own these files. This is free source code great way to start off making a website you can move this these files to your own web server you can cancel your web server and find a new one dollar a month web server that's all you need for this this is simple text there's no databases there's no wordpress complicated installation that you have to secure and keep secure and update and this is very simple 
all you need for starting out for a website. Please check back for my next video on how you update the pictures, how you upload it using FileZilla to a web server. This will get you started. Uh, please leave any questions or comments below. Thank you.